Hello! Okay, so I thought I would do another disposable camera video. <laughs> This isn't the tips and tricks one, just for the mere reason that I didn't have enough money to go out and buy a disposable camera solely for the purpose of making that video. But now I have one, a job. Your girl has a job. Oh boy. I've been like unemployed ever since I was like 15. So like, this is a big deal. Also, <laughs> Because of my anxiety, I was always too afraid to get a job in case like I couldn't show up. But now that I'm like better, I don't like I, I'm so excited. Like I, people were like, Fiona, why are you excited about getting a job? Not having a job is awesome, and I'm like, no, like I really want a job. Like I just want to be a normal fucking person. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the camera I bought. Um, I bedazzled it. <laughs> this is it. Ta-da! Look at all the, the candy corn, the ghosts, the cat, the fish, the bunnies. The back is not finished. The top is not finished yet. Nearly finished. I want to put more stars on it, but yeah. Um, it was a fiver, which is actually cheaper than a disposable camera. And obviously this is better for the environment because you're not chucking out heaps of plastic every time you finish your film. So this is the camera I've been using recently. It works. <laughs> um, and I thought I'd show you some pictures from this year, um, tail end of last year. <laughs> pictures! I'm gonna show you some pictures from recently and not that recently. Let's get into it. First of all, I'll show you some on my wall. Let's go. Ah. Hi, this is where I live. I really, really love this one. Um, I bedazzled it. What don't I bedazzle? Oh, well, Let's not answer that. This is a picture of me and the band Drowners, excluding one member who was actually probably the nicest and friendliest member because he was at the toilet. Um, so that's pretty sick. That was the 10th of the 10th, 2016. Drowner the baby. This one is of me and my boy. And this is when we went to go see Baby Strange. They're a Scottish band and they're really cool. You should check them out. Um, this one is of me and Tamiya at the beach. This was Bournemouth Beach. Absolutely. Wait, is it Bournemouth or Bournemouth? It's in England. I absolutely love this place. It's so beautiful. All the buildings are like white and pink and dreamy and like sort of feels like you're in Los Angeles. I don't know. That's a vibe I get from it. I love it. It's amazing. And that's the beach again. Bournemouth Beach. This is a sick mirror that I got from a charity shop. But look how cute it is! Furbies. This is from England again. And um, that's Tamiya and my dad and they're walking down a little lane. This looks like it has a filter on it, but I don't think it does. I think that's just the colour it came out. <laughs> this is me and my dad and um, we're on a... You know those like flying swing chairs you get? We're on one of those. Now I have a job, I can actually pay to get way more of this actually developed, so... Hell yeah! I think you've seen most of this. I do like to decorate my film, especially ones that don't turn out as well. This one's of Tamir. We're actually in Edinburgh at like a children's Kaylee, which was just hilarious. So like she looked quite scared and it was really dark, so I put in little ghosts with like glowing eyes or little gems. Um, <laughs> um Psycho soundtrack, my boy. My everything. Now to the big book. I like collaged it and sort of bedazzled it very proud of myself when I bedazzle stuff, can you tell? Successfully bedazzled my face! Is that permanent? I'm unappreciated in my time. I have a lot of pictures of Matt Hit from when we went to go see Drowners. There's the boy, not my boy, another boy. If you haven't heard the story, we got the front of Drowners nearly suffocated in front of Matt Hit. It was something else. I like this one. I put this on my Instagram today. If you want to follow it, it is the Fiona Adventures. Um, this is of Tamiya. She's in a ball pit. Um, I like it because I like the colours and she she looks quite funny. <laughs> this is Edinburgh during the Fringe Festival. During the Fringe Festival, which I'm trying to get my uni friends to come up to. So that's a big Ferris wheel that they put up during the Fringe. I love Edinburgh. I mean, Glasgow has my heart, but I, I am quite fond of Edinburgh. A boy. Not my boy again, but Matt Hit. 
It was just a good day for photos on this day. A good day. This is my uni, actually. I, I fucking love my uni. Um, that's the lake at the uni. It's it's really beautiful, honestly. No matter what the weather is, that lake just looks like fun. Da, da, da. ridiculously beautiful. I love it. This is from. Do you remember that video I made? It's like like a teen movie, but every time somebody has a breakdown, we throw a party. Yeah, um, that's from that night. That's one of the pictures we took. Do I want to show you all of these because I put a lot of them on my Instagram, obviously. <laughs> Ding! Don't ask me why I used oil paint on this because oil paint, <laughs> boy, just doesn't dry, does it? But this was a picture of my room and it didn't turn out very well. Can't remember why I took it, but it was just like missing something. So I wrote, it feels so scary getting old, which is from a Lord song. Are you seeing a pattern here? I think I might be in love with her. Maybe. Julia, seja muito feliz com a escolha dela. Yeah, I am. These are for my new camera. The thing is, these have, they turned out fine to be honest, but there's like black dots in places on them that just like shouldn't be there. So he actually gave me these prints for free, which is pretty sick. I took these photos so quickly because I just wanted to know if my camera worked after the kerfuffle with the last one. Um, but this was one from Father's Day and it's my dad and my mom and some trees. I love nature, so. Oh, and my family. <laughs> my dad looks a lot like David Lynch, like a hell of a lot. It's creepy. I was watching David Lynch, The Art Life, which is such a good documentary. You should watch it. But like, I just kept seeing my dad and I was like, holy ba -ba -ba -ba. This was supposed to be on my tattoo on the day that I got it. But um, first of all, the film cut out. And second of all, the flash, Fiona, when will you learn? If you're wondering, I got my tattoo on a complete whim. I've always known I've wanted tattoos, but like, I was always really anxious, like, yeah, I just didn't know what I wanted. And then melodrama came out, which is like, bah. fucking everything, but. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna get into, Lord just means like, a lot to me. I, every time I see a picture of her, every time I see her perform, every time like I hear her voice, I just have this connection in me that's like so strong and so real, like in a way that I've never felt with anything else. It's, it's really great. That's my teenage hero on my skin, like forever. Like, I could think of nothing better to have. Wanna see what I found on the ground today? I'm like a flower vigilante. I don't pick flowers because it makes me really sad that, you know, that's them dead. Um, so I always like pick up the flowers that children pick and then drop. So I show you the flowers that I found today when I was out. I found this one that didn't quite make it, she was just a baby, and somebody stole her life from her. Oh. This one, which I need to press soon because that's, oh boy. This one, which to me I got her hands on and sort of like peeled away most of it. And then this one that reminds me of those Japanese traditional flower tattoos you see. And then this big bitch. This is my child now. Let me just put this gently in my hair. Hi! Yeah, um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your lovely, lovely comments. Um, I always see the same people on my videos and it's like the best. I'm like, oh, hello again. Welcome back. You'll see more of me. Bye.